Help support our coverage through Amazon Prime. Get free music with Prime Music, TV, movies, and documentaries with Prime Video, and free games with Prime Gaming. For this and a whole lot more, go to PlugHitsLive.com slash Prime. Uh, we do have our next guest ready, uh, Matt Crowley, CEO of Signal Cortex. How are you today, sir? Good. How have you been? Oh, doing fantastic. How's your digital CES? Uh, very different from being in person. I miss uh, going to all my favorite spots in Vegas, but you know it is yeah. what it is. We're all staying safe. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a ghost donkey fan myself. I don't know if you've ever been there, but that's one of the uh, that's one of the secret hidden bars um, <laughs> over in the Aria complex. It's got like a hundred different types of tequila. Great stuff. Oh, awesome. Check it out. It's like a little treasure hunt trying to find it. Um, well, tell us a little bit about Signal Cortex. Uh, what you guys are all about and what you do. Sure. So uh, I guess a little bit of background on me. Um, uh, prior to starting this company, I was the CIO for Philadelphia Airport and Cleveland Airport. So uh, I was used to dealing with kind of very large organizations. Um, you, know, you had facilities where 100,000 people would flow through each day, almost like CES, right? You have a lot of things sure. going on, a lot of complexity. And there's a lot of things that happen in the background uh, done by the frontline employees, whether it be mopping the floors, uh, trying to move chairs around, direct customers. And the systems that are built for these large enterprises to manage uh, these tasks are extremely complicated. I like to joke that uh, there's, there, it takes a lot of steps to mop a floor. Uh, imagine if you're a janitorial worker and you're trying to clean up a spill. A lot of times you have to carry around three devices and you have to fill out a, a 30 line questionnaire when you're done so that you have an idea of, of the task you're supposed to do, and then management can make proper uh, deployment decisions for employees. So the whole ecosystem for getting things done in enterprise settings, uh, in large organizations, at conferences is extremely complicated. Uh, so at Signal Cortex, we've developed a system that streams line, streamlining tasks to staff members and getting the results back to management so they can uh, make better decisions. Uh, our first product, which is uh, being launched on uh, the 31st, uh, is a, a simple app on a phone. Uh, you can use commodity Bluetooth devices right now, and it converts simple tasks that employees are supposed to do to audio-based messages. Uh, so essentially, if you have to go deploy to a facility to take care of a task, um, instead of having to fiddle with your phone or go on a radio, you can get notification of a task that's going to be done. And if you do choose to use your phone, it's a simple binary operation instead of uh, tons of steps. Uh, I like to give an example, uh, uh, operations staff at an airport, and I won't, I won't name the airport, but um, you, there was an incident once where you had um, an employee that had to go fix a light on an airfield uh, and ended up causing a million dollars in damages because they had to get that information on their tablet while they're in a vehicle. Right. So employees yeah. have to get tasks done and get things completed in order for operations to run smoothly. But it's really hard to do that. So we simplify that process. Wow. And, uh, you know, even even considering my own industry, which is the corporate AV field, you know, typically setting up AV and running the AV for conferences like CES. Um, it's interesting that you're coming at this uh, industry and this logistic solution from a different situation because yeah we're typically walking down the hallway something like that we're pushing a cart full of stuff with three people pushing things behind us and we get a call on the radio yep. you know and it's like hey chris chris what well, I guess Chris isn't there. No, Chris is here. His hands are both occupied right now is the problem. Um, so, yeah, interesting solutions. What was it that, I mean, obviously it was your experience working in the airport, things like that, that led to the creation of this technology. But what are some of the other ways you're looking at leveraging this and getting it out there into the market? 
Absolutely. So we actually, um, you know, because of COVID, uh, we had to pivot when we started. And uh, mm -hmm. to the to the previous guest, we worked with Case Western as well. So I'm a I'm an alum from about ten years ago. We went through the National Science Foundation uh, I Corp program. Um, so when we figured we couldn't sell to airports. Uh, we actually went towards uh, building service contractors. So they are okay. uh, commercial companies that you might call in after an event to clean the facility up or after you uh, you, know, you need nightly work to, to clean your facility or office space. Um, in that industry, we targeted it specifically because the current solutions in the market were really hard to use. So again, you're carrying around multiple devices. You're expected to uh, you know, be a mobile expert or a computer expert in order yep. to uh, just relay what you're doing. Um, and they have a very specific problem in that industry. They lose half of their customers every year because of bad data, either employees not getting their tasks or not saying that they're done and the customers being dissatisfied with service. So we actually mm -hmm. focused on that industry first. We have our first customers in that space, uh, but ultimately, uh, I see this both as a business and a consumer play as well. When we prototyped, it was actually uh, for consumers. I was um, you know, driving around and wanted to listen to uh, uh, tweets and news that came up um, and didn't want to touch my phone. So we would summarize the text and it would go to my ear and I didn't have to touch a device. Um, oh, cool. But, you know, while I would love the long term on that, the short term to get the company go and get revenue in was let's focus on the B2B solution. Uh, sure. So that's what we did. We focused yeah. on commercial cleaning companies and we're solving a very pointed problem for them right now. And that's fantastic. The fact that you can come in, uh, like you said, with a consumer concept and yet still provide an enterprise solution for people. Uh, how long have you been in development on this? Because like you were saying, you you were were one of the people that worked with Case Western, things like that a decade ago. Yep. Um, how long has it taken for you to get to this point where you're at right now? And how long are you looking at before ultimate launch into a marketplace and regular availability for people? Sure. Yeah, we, um, uh, my co-founder Bill Wickert and I started the company in May. Um, you know, we were stuck in our offices during the pandemic, and my background software development. So, I said, why not? Uh, started writing a prototype. Mm. Um, we signed our first enterprise contract in December, and um, that wow. that's going live. And uh, we officially launched publicly on the thirty first of January. Wow! Wow! Fantastic, man. Now that's what I'm talking about. Um, people using the pandemic to properly motivate themselves because, yeah, you know, like, hey, I found distribution for my music over the pandemic. Like, I've been looking for that for 20 years. I just didn't have enough time to focus on it. You went yep. out and started a business and landed an enterprise client. That's the kind of stuff uh, that makes pandemics worthwhile, uh, horribly enough, <laughs> you know, where you can where you can literally have enough time to devote on one thing long enough to be able to deliver a product. Um, and what an incredible short turnaround for you. Amazing stuff. Um, I will give you one tip before we find out uh, from you where people can find out more information, where they can go to get their own enterprise solution. Um, and that is Freeman. Uh, Freeman operates most of the docks around the country, things like that. If you've got stuff coming in, to the committee, which I'm sure you know, having been to CES, other conventions, things like that. I'm sure working in an airport, you're more than familiar with Freeman. Yep. Um, but they would be a fantastic company to contact with this technology. Um, it would be really, really great. I could see like 28 ways the vendors that I work with would be able to integrate this stuff with Freeman. Um, so, yeah, uh, there might be a fantastic source for you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, obviously Freeman, if you're listening, uh, yeah, get a hold of me. Um, yeah. And if you want to know more, um, <laughs> uh, signalcortex.com is the website. Like I said, right now, um, you know, we're in the BSC market, but it's, it's broadly applicable technology. Um, and again, we're, we're here to, to make it simpler for enterprises to um, operate smoothly and uh, make sure that you keep your customers happy. And last note, that millimeter wave radar solution you had on previously was absolutely fantastic. Isn't that just nerdtastic stuff, yeah. man? I was like, the, the, um, my mind was just racing with possibilities and the people that I know that play with Arduinos, like I said, if they, uh, they're they all drone people, stuff like that. 
uh, when you're talking about drone technology, that kind of stuff, it would be incredible, especially for like drone swarms, the way that they're using it for displays now, stuff like that. So just, yeah, uh, mind numbing stuff that you get to see at CES, including solutions like yours. Thank you so much for taking the time today, Mr. Crowley, uh, for spending your most valuable CES time with us today. Oh, thank you very much. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that interview. And if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.